Welcome back to the not so grand toy hauler. As you can tell, it's a little bit of a mess in here right now. Got a lot of stuff going on. Been cleaning off this front panel, getting rid of the, the mirrors, the bus camera, all the nonsense that we don't need anymore. Obviously, we still got a lot, a lot to do here. The cabinets, the cabinet doors are needing done. But today, I think we're going to focus on finishing this uh, this pull-out bed here. So now that we've got our water system all buttoned up, tanks in, pumps in, everything's been tested, we can finally get the top finished and uh, get things going. So, here we go. Now that we got these pieces cut, we'll uh, lay them out and see how it looks. And before going too much further, I decided to go on and get our support brace put in for the slide piece right here. So you see, before, when this would pull out, this back piece here could drop down and end up sitting on top of our water tank, which we didn't want. So to make it easier, we simply ran a piece of one by three up underneath this rear support. We screwed it in from the bottom. And then ran another piece on top of that, doubling it up. So that gives this rear support piece a place to slide smoothly where it won't drop down into the hole. Okay, here's how we did the support on the other side. This piece here fits right up underneath the front and rear supports. It's pretty snug, but it's just like so. So, put a little construction grade adhesive on here, front and back. Drop this piece in. Come over a bit and pull it up into place. Now, take our impact here. And shoot a couple short screws up through the bottom. To secure it in place. Once that glue sets up, that'll be solid. Okay, now this piece here is what this support is going to slide on. So, this piece here is going to go underneath this support. As you can tell, it's real snug sliding it in there with everything in place. This support was kind of an afterthought. Would have been ideal to put it in before this, but hey, I'm not a carpenter, so live and learn. Yeah, we'll go on and get a little bit of construction adhesive down through here. Yeah, perfect. And we'll slide this on in here. You might be wondering how I want to get this in here. 
fitting so tight. So we'll just get out a little purse right here and uh, massage it into place. Shoot a couple screws down to the top. Be sure to sink them down so they don't catch on the support piece here. down, glued down, and get this ready to sand and pretty well be done. Okay, so I went on and trimmed the ends of all these pieces down through here. These small ends that would normally sit up on top of here. Uh, since they're being supported by those runners underneath, it's not really necessary to have them full length anymore. And it makes this much easier to slide in and out now. Still need to make the spacers to make sure it slides in straight, but that'll come later. And the front piece that'll go along the front here, go all the way down to the floor, it'll support this when it's slid out. I can't do that until we have our final floor down. That way I can set the height right. But uh, so until then, I think what's next is we'll go on and skin this back wall and then start on our little side piece here with our armrest to cover up our uh, water fill lines.
I think that'll work. A little bit of trim work to do, but they'll give it a finished look when it's all done and painted up. Decided to go on and cut this wall piece here while I had the plywood out and had everything set up. So, hopefully, it fits as well. I think that'll look pretty decent. And once we uh, take you off here, once I get all this zipped into the wall, I'll still have to build an armrest that'll come up and the back support for the cushions for the couch. But uh, yeah, it's getting there. But uh, I think that might be it for today. So. Uh, We'll see what I come up with on this armrest and uh, go from there.